it's Darby from RejoiceAndCreate.com. Thanks for stopping by to watch my video today. Well, today I was trying to find a home for this little guy. And this little guy is a punch from a Stampin' Up! punch that just came out. It's a little dog punch. And I thought it was so adorable that I had to make a home for him. And this is the home that I came up with. Now, I think it's pretty adorable. It's, of course, of shaped like a milk carton, but it's an elongated milk carton. The dimensions of it actually are two and a quarter inches by three inches long, and two and a half inches up to the shoulders of the milk carton, and four inches overall. So it makes a really sweet little treat box. And of course, it was sized for this little doggy who happens to be two inches tall and an inch and a half wide up you know, without the tail in there. So if you don't have this dog, you can certainly uh, use some free clip art from the computer. You can draw your own. You can use another stamp of a similar size. Or if you're doing a missing you box, maybe you don't need to put the dog there. Maybe just having the empty dog house with an empty bowl would signify that you're missing someone. Now, when I saw the dog, this is the first thing that came to mind. And um, I went ahead and created the box for him. But then I thought, you know, maybe someone else did that as well. So I went ahead and did a search and I only found one other dog house that was a milk carton and it was based off of a dye that was available, I don't know, five, seven years ago. So I went ahead and uh, wanted to post this one because I thought it was pretty cute. Doggone cute, in fact. Oh, so sorry about the pun. But anyway, um, what you'll need for this cute little box is a piece of cardstock that is 11 inches long by six inches wide. For the two roof panels, you'll need two pieces of pattern paper, and each piece is two inches wide by three inches long, and I went ahead and, let me flip that over, I went ahead and scalloped the edge of it that's going to be down. For the door, I used another piece of cardstock that was one and a half inches wide by two and a quarter inches long, and I fed it into a one and a half inch punch to round it so it would look round on top. So if you're slightly smaller than a one and a half inch, you can actually pull it through. But if you're just too tight like this one and you can't quite make it out, all you have to do is stick it here and on each of the corners and it'll kind of round the top pretty nicely. Then you'll need your little doggy. I used a ribbon to tie it together and I have these really cute little um, Actually, it's a bone tag, although some people use these tags. They're in three different sizes. Um, some people use them for threading like a ribbon spool if they want to keep their ribbon stored um, on something. But I'm using them for dog bones because that's what I think that they are. And I'm using that one for a tag. All right, so let's go ahead and get scoring. Okay, so put your 6 by 11 inch piece of cardstock short side up. And we're going to score the 6 inch side at 1 half of an inch. at two inches and at four and a half inches. Okay, let's turn it clockwise because we want that half an inch section up top because we're making a milk carton and we need to do some partial scoring along with our full scoring. So let's score it all the way first at three inches, five and a quarter, eight and a quarter, and 10 and a half. All right, and to form the triangles on top of the milk carton, we're going to do a partial score just down to that first line at four and one eighth, just down to that first line, and at nine and three eighths, just down to that first line. Okay, so we're done with our scoreboard, but we do need to make a couple additional scores. So go ahead and take a ruler and a stylus, and right where that partial score line ends, we want to score down to the bottom right and the left of the rectangle that it ends in. So go ahead and score down to the left and down to the right. Same on this one. And now we're going to go ahead and um, fold and burnish our score lines. Okay, this top score line will fold back a bit. That's the top of the milk carton. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so we have that half inch section, which will be the glue tab. We do not need that bottom rectangle. So let's go ahead and cut that off. And then we're going to cut up on both sides of the remaining score lines on the bottom and just snip it off. And then I'm just going to take a slight little part off of the side over here just to match. All right, so let's go ahead and put a strong adhesive on the tab. And I'm using some Tombow Extreme. Fold it over and let's match the other side up with it. And they should match up pretty well. Okay. Now the seam is going to be the back side of our uh, doghouse. So let's go ahead and put that together. And you'll notice that these guys just overlap about maybe an inch. And then the back and the front will just meet up. So let's go ahead and only put some adhesive on that outer inch or so of that one side. And we're also going to put adhesive on both the front and the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that side in first. Put this one over. Make sure we're squared up and put the front and the back and meet those up in the center. And we're going to go ahead and push down from the inside. Okay, so now we're going to kind of squeeze it down into the milk carton shape. And because we scored those lines, it folds down pretty easily. Okay, for now I'm just going to go ahead and clip it so it holds together while I'm putting the uh, roof panels on. And as I said, these are two inches by three inches. And I went ahead and scalloped the edge and we'll just go ahead and put those on. And I snug it right up to the score line. That makes it really cute. Let me do the other side as well. Okay, now this is our back, so we're going to put the door on the front side of it. And I moved it just to the left a little bit because the dog I used is facing the left and um, I wanted to get him mostly on there. All right, let me just go ahead and pop up our dog on some of these foam dots. All right, we're just going to put him to the center. His tail will hang off a little bit, but I think that's pretty sweet. Now for my uh, little sentiment, I did stamp out the Just For You. And this is a, a Stampin' Up! one, and it's a dual banner. And I'm just going to put some glue on the two bottom parts because I'm going to arch it over the top, and it will arch into that space. So it just needs to have glue just on these two bottom parts of the banner. Okay, so I tied it with a ribbon, and you can use a 1 8 of an inch punch and punch through these two and then mark them and punch through these two and do the same all around. But I'm actually gonna use my crocodile. So let me see, I want the smaller hole, so I'm gonna use the smaller hole. And I'll just center it probably about maybe three quarters of an inch, half an inch from one side. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I want to have the tag and the bow hang off on the right side, so I'm going to thread it from the right side. So let me squeeze those together. Where's my clip again? The clip helps me keep it together while I'm threading things. So let me thread that through on this side. 
All right, and for a little tag, I just used this little one from my uh, die set that I showed you before. And I'm just gonna use one of these little uh, squash looking safety pins just to clip it. Now, if you're giving them to the kids, you may wanna just use a thread to tie it on. You know, if you're giving them to young kids that might hurt themselves on this, it might be a um, choking hazard. But I'm just gonna go ahead and um, fasten this around the bow and let it hang down from there. And there you go. You know, it's a really quick little thing and I think it's an adorable little um, treat holder or a little gift box if you want to. Let me bring my other one back in. But before I go, I wanted to reward those of you who have made it to the end of my video by offering a hidden giveaway. And what I want to give away is this set of dog bone tags. And I think they're pretty cute, but you can use them for ribbon spools as well. So if you want to be entered in this hidden giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber and then post a comment below that says somewhere in the comment, I like the dog bone tags. And then you'll be entered. And please make that comment by um, 10 p.m. Wednesday, March 13th, Eastern Daylight Savings Time, because we're switching over to Daylight Savings Times in the States this weekend. So if you do that by Wednesday, March 13th at 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, then um, I will use the YouTube random comment picker and I will start picking comments and the first one that said I like the dog bone tags will be the winner and I will pin that as a pinned comment below the video on Thursday morning so if you come back and look back on Thursday morning Thursday or Friday to see if you've won then go ahead and post the comment that said it's me I won and um, send me an email and I'll give you my email address in the video description below after the winners posted on Thursday morning, as early as I can, maybe even Wednesday night, you have until Friday the 15th until 10 p.m. daylight savings time in the East Coast of the United States to uh, claim your prize. If you don't uh, claim your prize by 10 p.m. Eastern daylight savings time in the United States, then I will go ahead and pull the next winner and post that one as a pin below this video. So if you're interested in winning this hidden, hidden giveaway, just come back to this video on Thursday or Friday and take a look and see if you're the one that's pinned below the video as the winner. Good luck to all of you and I thank you so much for watching my videos. I learn as much from you as you learn from me and maybe even more. So I hope you enjoyed this project and give it a try. If you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to be notified of new videos as I post them. For more information on this one or any other videos I've created, please go to rejoiceandcreate.com. And as always, until we meet again, I hope your days are blessed. Bye!